can an electric car be fun on track? Well, to find out, I've bought this new Hyundai Ioniq 5N to a track day at Silverstone, and I'm gonna compare it to a BMW M2. But the hardest thing of all for me today is to try and convince a hardcore electric car skeptic, racing driver Sam, come on in, that you can have fun on track in an electric car. Do you think it's possible? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> To start this video, it makes sense to actually brim both cars. So I'm gonna fill this up with fuel. It's just come from Oxford, so it's arrived here, having done about 40 miles, and I'm gonna put 99 fuel in it, you know, just high 102. up. 102. What, you mean the race fuel, the 102 over there? Yeah, we're on a track. It's 102. I don't need it in this car, though. Doesn't matter, it, 102. 102 it, must be better. No, no, it's more. It's, it's, it's over four pounds a litre. So? Well, are you gonna put, like, race electrons in your car? Yes. You can't. You Listen, can. Up, 99's fine, shut up. Right, so, let's see how much it's cost and how long it takes. Get your stopwatch going. Three, two, one, go. Well, I'm done. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, that was for almost six liters. Now, what we're gonna do is go fill up your car. Yeah, with electrons. With electrons. Sam is rather competitive, so he wanted to find the fastest chargers as possible, and he thought he knew where they were, but he ended up sending us on a wild goose chase. Where are you going? The gate's closed. So we can't get to the chargers? No, we can. We just have to go the other way. <laughs> Why aren't the chargers near the track? They weren't very nice chargers. You know, like a dirty toilet, you just wouldn't go there. What is the charging speed of the ones near the track? I don't know. I don't understand those words. Okay, but the fastest charger, so the quickest time that you think is to go to these other chargers which aren't near our garage. Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> What are you doing? Opening the boot. Oh, so these don't actually have a cable with them? No. I'm pretty sure, could be wrong, that this is AC, just because it doesn't have the extra bits down there for DC. The Ionic 5N can charge on AC power at 11 kilowatts. And at that rate, it takes about eight hours to fully charge its 84 kilowatt hour battery. Not ideal when you're on a track day. However, on DC charging, it can do 240 kilowatts, which is impressive as it can charge to 80% full in just 18 minutes. Unfortunately, Sam couldn't find any DC chargers at Silverstone. Well, or so he thought, more on that later. So we headed back to the petrol station next to the track where I'd filled at the M2 because there were some 11 kilowatt AC chargers that Sam didn't want to use originally, but things didn't get any easier. There you go, that goes in there. Yeah. And this okay. goes in here. You got that in there. Right. I've got a horrible feeling we need to scan a QR code. I'll let you do this. Why don't they have DC charging? Is this it? This is the two charging points at Silverstone. Now it says start charging. Oh, I, I, it, it, touched it, the it, start. Took, it took the payment. At what point should we start kicking it? Now. <laughs> Here we go. This is the worst day of my life. That's, That's it, it right? Yeah, start charging. No, I've already paid. Just, just pay. I'll, I'm paying for it. Now it's, now it's 35 people per kilowatt hour. You got a discount? So where do we pay the other 40 quid then? Tesla there. You just pay to charge him, I think. Are you sure this is this? Well, it, no. No, it's 11. I told so, you. <laughs> we don't know. This there is us. It is. Go. And it is 60. Yeah, but now that's going to charge me. Don't, don't worry, I'm paying for it all. <laughs> Apple Pay has been, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no, oh. he thinks I'm being f***ing robbed. Just done it. All this messing about with apps was eating into my track time and my patience. And so I had a rant. Okay, this is my message to the government. You want people to move into electric cars, right? You want people to do that. You don't make it easy. What you should do is make every single fuel filling station have to have an electric charger as part of the ability to be able to sell fuel. When we go over there to that Gulf station, there is an electric charger there and it's a fast charger. It should be mandated by the government. If you're putting in these rules that everyone's got to switch to electric cars, you should make it easy for people to do that. I'm f***ing livid. I've just spent £115. On f*** all. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even got anything yet. Well, I spent loads on this f track day and we haven't even got on track. I think I need to lie down. I think I need to lie down. <laughs> Right, let's get in the BMW, obviously, because it's the only one it's we can It's the only thing try. we can go in now. <laughs> it's fast, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. I'm actually really liking our track. The BMW is one of those vehicles which is a great road car, but also good on track. 
or the chassis and suspension upgrades compared to the M240i means it's easier to use all of its 460 horsepower from its twin turbo straight six, despite only having rear wheel drive. In fact, it was so predictable on the high-speed Silverstone circuit, it allowed me to keep up with a Porsche 911 GT3. That is, until we had a small problem. Now, BMW is famous for not having the strongest brakes. When I say strongest, I mean, look, they're, they're, these are smoking a little bit. Still, got plenty of fuel left. Let's find out how that Hyundai is doing in terms of charge. Thankfully, I didn't have to traipse all the way around Silverstone to find out. I'd like to introduce you to Andy. So, hello, Andy. Hello. Now, Andy's here because it's actually your Hyundai, isn't it? It is. And you have an app on your phone which can tell us how much charge it has got in it now. I've done a few laps in the BMW, so can you tell me, is it fully charged? 61%. And it was about, what was it? 50, what was it, 55 or something, 54? 56. 50, oh, it doesn't put that much in then, has it? No. I'm gonna give it a run now, take it down, it's 40%, isn't it, becomes slower. Yeah. And then, let me get my zap map, because I don't think there's any point charging it here. I need to find like a rapid charger nearby. There must be a rapid charge, here we go. Sam? Yes? Mate, there are some rapid chargers here, you just, look. What? What, so what here, is that? So there, there's a, there's a proper DC charger there. That's Aston Martin's though. Is it? They'll let us. Shall we get Aston Martin? Porsche's got some. Porsche's got some? Yes. We went past the Porsche Experience Centre. Yeah. Let's go to Porsche and charge up there. But all this messing around meant that my track day was disappearing fast. So I decided to get Sam out in the Hyundai for a few laps straight away. But even this got a bit complicated. Sam, you're going to drive because this is now your adopted car. You want to go to end mode? Oh, that's that was good. End mode. That's good. My neutral. But, but, but. Wait a minute, I don't know if that's the right mode, because there's one mode where you have gears, but we don't that's want this, that, we want power. I want power. gears. No, you don't, because it makes it slower. I think this is... What? ESC disabled, disabled in custom one. Rev it? That's right, I think we're in the fast mode. Are I we? Think. So you can put it into gear mode, and we will do that, but it reduces the power, so it's not as quick, because the way it does it, it like interrupts the torque or something, but it means you have less power. Let's just go and drive on track, okay. This is going to be noisy. I can turn that noise off, actually. Oh, it thinks we're having a crash. Um, I like the way you're just feeling your way into the car, but gradually. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be so pissed off when you come past him. It's, it's sliding. <laughs> it keeps on thinking we're crashing. There's all sorts of like safety systems going off. I don't know how to turn them off. We'll have to ask Andy. Whoa. That's the weight there, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is scary through here. Sam. Ah! That's the torque split. Woohoo! How does it feel? Heavy. But. Oh, there it's heavy. <laughs> you know, that was a lot of push there. <laughs> Let's take a GTR while we're at it. Flat through maggots and beckets. It Come won't on. go flat through maggots and beckets. Are you mental? Ah! <laughs> oh, those tyres! You're not the biggest fan of electric cars. How does it feel? It's good. It's really heavy, but it's good. Then it was my turn to drive the Ionic 5N, but I decided to mix things up a bit. Look, if I press this. I can have gears, look. Yeah! It's not as fast <laughs> though. But I'm going to do it like this for fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? I'm jealous! As you can tell from Sam's reaction, Hyundai did a great job programming the fake gear changes. They feel almost real. And the way they affect the motor's torque delivery makes it feel a lot more fun than any other electric car I've ever driven. It's also very quick which shouldn't be a surprise because its two electric motors produce a combined 650 horsepower. The suspension and steering also help disguise the fact that it weighs over 2.2 tonnes, which is almost 500 kilograms more than the BMW. However, the brakes feel a bit too grabby and the regen effect from the motors means heavy braking doesn't feel as natural as it does in some internal combustion engine cars. But something else besides the grabby brakes was about to stop our fun. 15% battery. Oh, now I've got anxiety. <laughs> Visit a nearby station. It's live now. 13%. 13%. <laughs> 13%. <laughs> 
12 percent oh god have we lost power yes we've lost power <laughs> hope we don't lose braking performance you know how you like control the rotation sometimes with the throttle yeah 11 percent i have less power to do that with and now this being you know what's really funny is quicker there's the pause center <laughs> that's, a, that's where we need to be 10 percent battery oh god battery temp 50 degrees that's probably not good eight percent Where's the pits? Oh, not for another bit yet. Charge immediately, power limited. Why aren't you slowing down? You're giving me actual anxiety. <laughs> it's going slower. I'm sure it is. We've got 7% left. Right, let's do a cool down lap. Oh, I really like this though, to drive. It's so much fun. But, does it get through its battery? Yeah. By now, the Hyundai has rinsed through more than half its 84 kilowatt hour battery. So we limped over to Porsche are you not going to speak to them? I don't know. Let's just try it. To start charging, scan the QR code of this smartphone. Oh, uh, God. Porsche direct payment. Oh, Porsche. I've got my Porsche already because I've got one. My Porsche. My old Porsche. My Porsche 911 GT3 RS. Needs updating. No, I don't have it, apparently. No, you do have it. That's in un uninstall. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thanks. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Is this a supercharger? It'll be fast. Look, look, the key thing. See this? The extra bit. Oh, okay. That's look. The, that's the key bit, the extra bit. Every day's a school day. That means DC charging. So these DC chargers should be able to recharge the Ionic 5N at its maximum charging rate, which Hyundai says is 240 kilowatts in ideal conditions. Buy a charging session. Okay, here you go. So Find and select the appropriate charging station using the charging I. Oh, hello. Swipe for more information. Plug and play. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. GB 911. Ah, see what they did there. Capital E 000. Yeah. Zero, zero, zero. That's exhausting. Bet you it says it's wrong. If this gets it right, we'll be unbelievable. It's just gone back to that home screen. At this point, I was almost ready to give up. But then I remembered that the Porsche Experience Center had a secret that I might be able to use to my advantage. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? I'm all right, you? Get in there, get in there. I'm trying to charge my electric car using your DC charger. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know your ones at the back? Yes. Because they're yours for charging your cars? They're charging our cars, yes. Okay. Do you want to just ask the question because it might be worthwhile? Yeah, bear me a minute. Let's see if. Uh, My name's Matthew Watson. Guys in there. Yeah, I'll see if the guys in there will know. A few moments later. It's a no for the back ones, oh. but as I thought, have you got a shell app? Yeah. It should work on the shell apps. Never. Why do they have this whole process for payment? Yeah. It's so difficult. Like vending machines, you can just. I think because they're privatised, aren't they? So everybody wants to start a business with their own charging station. So you have to have your own there app. Basically, people are just trying to make a little bit of extra buck from data, yeah. and the whole system just breaks down because of it. Yeah. When as I just want to give them some money, but that's not good enough. No. Nope. Huh? Select a charging station. There we go. There you go. That's one. There yeah. That's it. Look. Click it. Okay. Scan to charge. Here we go. Come on. While using the app. Choose your method of payment. I said, please note we are currently only accept payment by credit card. Yeah. Yes. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Plug in to start. Oh my God. Come on. Are we winning? Oh, we're on. Look at this. It's going to dump in a load of power now because this does 350 kilowatts. After a few minutes, I noticed something interesting. The Ionic 5N was actually charging faster than Hyundai said was possible. I guess some cloud-based charging apps do have a silver lining. Well, I mean, already, this feels more natural, doesn't it? Yes, it's more involving, isn't it? <laughs> it's good, the Hyundai, but the way that went into a slide, it was progressive, it was Yeah, the brake pedal feels consistent on my foot. And you've got to say the brakes, like the feel of them, way better in this. Yeah, it's good, but it's like it's a bit pushy at the front. I'll tell you this, unlike the Hyundai, there's no grab handle there, which I need. Don't you think you feel faster in this? Oh, yeah. But it isn't just about being fast, it's about having fun. Yeah, but that push there. Yeah. It feels like you need to grab a lower gear and it doesn't feel as torquey as the old M2 either. Unless it's just got more grip than the old one. Yes. 
I think it has. It's heavier. I'll let it cool down. Good though, yeah? Yes, yeah, mega. What's the fuel saying? It's one bar above a half a tank. So there's plenty of fuel left in the M2 for me to have another go. The M2 doesn't have as much power as an M3 or an M4, so it isn't as quick in a straight line as those cars. But it feels less serious and more playful in the corners. The torque converter gearbox isn't as snappy as the best dual clutch automatics in other cars, but it's responsive enough to cope with the tighter technical sections of the Silverstone track. The BMW never feels intimidating, even if you're trying to keep up with some very fast cars. And you don't have to be completely ragging it the whole time in order to have lots of fun. So we've got just under half a tank on the BMW. We're going to fill it up now and Sam's going to time me. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. So I'm just going to walk across normal speed like you would do. This is more of a faff, I think, than a normal petrol station, a normal pay up pump. I'm glad I don't have to download an app. Yeah. There we right. go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's one for electric. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't on the risk assessment. No. You know, been out on track, absolutely <laughs> fine. <laughs> when it comes to actually walking about. <laughs> it's going to be close, we're at one minute. One minute? Yeah. Very similar to the electric It is car, very similar, it? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, we're going to find out exactly how much fuel we used while driving this on track. Done. Oh, actually, I haven't finished. That, that's the filling up. Keep, keep timing. I've got to get my receipt. No. I'm going to not walk into the bollard. Yeah, mind the massive blue bollard. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I haven't put the pump in properly. Did this before. This could cost you. <laughs> See, there's always a problem with petrol cars. They're an absolute arse. Look, it's not doing it. See yeah, what I mean? So now do cancel and it might maybe you get the receipt. You read the piece of paper. No, it's not, it looks sale cancelled, look sale oh, okay. Use some of your anger to put it back in. That's a dodgy pump. See, it's not just electric charging stations that have problems. It did this before. It's definitely in. I can actually go, because I've got a fully fueled car. It's only because I want a receipt. We'll try yeah, one last time. because you need your money back. I do need to claim my money back. It would be costly, back. wouldn't it? But I can't get my time back no matter what, can I? What, four minutes? Yeah, well, I don't want to go to five. There we go, there we print go. last receipt, we're finally there. I've got my receipt, I can claim that back. I've got my card. Even after that, shenanigans. What we got, what time? Four minutes, 34 seconds. Four minutes, 34. That was probably the worst petrol car refueling experience I've had since I set fire to myself. It was slow. <laughs> <laughs> it was slow. Let's find out how much it cost. Ooh. But how does all this compare to the time it takes to recharge the electric car? Okay, I've come to collect the Hyundai. Let's see how much charge is in it. It's at 94%. And as you can see, the actual rate of charge has dropped dramatically. So there's no point hanging around for that last bit of charge. Just not worth it. Just over three quarters of an hour to get to 94%. So a petrol diesel car will always take less time to refuel than an electric car takes to recharge. But how do they compare in terms of cost? Well, I spent just over £56 to refill the M2 using the 99 octane filling station here at Silverstone from half a tank. A full tank, which is 52 litres, would have cost me about £94 using the same pumps. Fully charging the Hyundai using the slower AC chargers would have cost over £50, but that would have taken so long I wouldn't have been able to drive the car on track. Porsche's 350 kilowatt DC chargers were much quicker, but they were also slightly more expensive. It cost me over £56 to charge the car from 4% to 94% full. This means a full charge from 0 to 100% could have cost about £63. That's cheaper than refueling the BMW. However, based on my experience, I wouldn't have been able to drive the Hyundai as far on track between charges as I could drive the BMW. Right, we're back in the Hyundai. Let me just turn it on get into the right mode, end performance mode. I want to go into the Revy, so it's going to have gears. There we go, let's go into here. Let's put Race. our battery into track mode. It's going to heat up. No, bollocks, track <laughs> <done a> time. <laughs> Just crack on. We're on a track day, we want to get out there. We're Absolutely. not going to wait for that. Race, end race. There we go, all happy with that. I think that's just ready to go, yeah? It's quite funny, it feels as quick as the BMW when you got it in gears mode, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 
All the things that make the Ionic 5N such a fun track car are the same things that actually make it slightly worse on paper. All the synthesized noises mean it isn't as quiet as it could be. All the fake gear changes means it accelerates a little bit slower in a straight line than if you don't use them and you just have it in normal EV mode. And the boost mode only lasts for 10 seconds, so you have to plan when you want to deploy it on each lap, just like a Formula 1 driver using DRS. However, having all these things to think about actually makes it more involving, and it's much more fun than any other electric car I've ever driven, especially on track. Although overall, not as much fun as a BMW M2. What is that in the boot? Oh, the charge cable. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's one thing to think about. <laughs> go, 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 go. My Ferrari. <laughs> Brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> So then Sam, let's go back to the original question. Can you have fun on track in an electric car? Yes, in this electric car. Which car was better out of these two on track? Same uh, money. This, all day long. This is a better track car, but I think that was more fun. Okay, what was the problem with this car though? It's like going to a theme park. It's more of a roller coaster. So you're not really feeling in control. It just wasn't as involving as this is to put in a fast lap. The reason I've always hated electric cars is they are so different to combustion cars. But this was made feel like a normal combustion car, ice car. That's the difference. So for old people like us, as we're transitioning to electric cars, these kind of cars will help us on that journey. The ultimate thing is the infrastructure needs to be improved quickly because that's the thing that's really holding it back. I agree. I think we need an end. Should we just cuddle? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. If you want to watch some other videos, click on the video window somewhere. And if you want to change your car the easy way, so you can sell your car through CarWow and buy your next one, just click on the CarWow logo. Thanks for watching. I'm taking the petrol car home because that needs Good. charging. <laughs>